Hey guys, Dcat here with a guide to the Dwarf Cannon quest. There are no required items for this quest. You start this quest at the area marked on the map. You can either start at the Seer's Lodestone and walk across a log shortcut past the mining trucks, or you can start at the Ardugne Lodestone and run uh, to the northwest around the uh, fishing guild. Talk to Captain Logoff. He will give you uh, six uh, rails. This is a little difficult in this is a little more difficult in uh, NEX than it is in RuneScape 3. Depending on which client you're using, if you're using the RuneScape 3 client, you can look. You need to look closely, like I'm doing right now, at the railing, and you should see one bent railing. And that's the one you need to replace with uh, your railing in your inventory. So just left click on the um, railings or uh, on the fence to uh, fix the uh, the bent railing. However, on the NXT clank, there is a bit of visual glitch or a bug, and all of the uh, railings look fixed and good, even if you haven't done it yet. So you're going to need to go start from one side of the fence to the other like I'm doing right now and uh, try to fix every inspect every railing and eventually you will come across the six railings and uh, once you've done so you can move on to the next part of this quest Once you found the last uh, rail, head it through the uh, open gates and talk to captain the captain again. Then head out of the gates and run to the uh, watchtower just to the south. Climb up the ladder and then climb up the ladder again. Grab the dwarf corpse in the corner. Dwarf remains. Then climb down the two ladders. Run north to the gate. Talk to the captain again. Run through the gates again and run to the cave just to the east of the uh, fishing guild. You can follow my path on the screen right now if you're unsure of where this is. You're going to want to follow this tunnel to the very end the furthest northwestern room and then search the crates until uh, you find a dwarf hiding in a uh, in one of the crates if you are attacked by a goblin you will have to either kill it or get it stuck on one of the barrels otherwise you would not be able to com finish a conversation with the dwarf Once you found the dwarf, finish his conversation and exit the cave. Run west around the uh, fishing guild and back to the uh, captain, the dwarven captain.
head through the gate and talk to the captain. Say okay, I'll see what I can do. Use the tool kit on the uh, cannon. Now you're going to want to use the middle tool on the uh, switch, the right tool on the spring, and the left tool on the gearbox. I'm mean, sorry, on the gear. Let the cannon close out of itself, the interface close itself, and talk to the captain again. Travel however you want to the Dwarven Mountains. In my opinion, the fastest way there is either by teleporting to Falador or to Edgeville. And if you uh, fall go through Edgeville, go behind the monastery and to up the mountain. What I'm showing in this video is teleporting to the uh, Falador Lodestone, running the uh, path north east of Falador, and then up the uh, stairs. Once here, open the uh, western building, or the middle building. And talk to the uh, dwarf inside. His name should be Nald Naldoni. He should give you a manual and a uh, cannonball mold. Teleport back to Sears, or... Uh, Ardugnoi, Ardugnoi, and run back to the captain. Congratulations, you have finished the Dwarven Cannon Quest, and you've received 1 quest point 750 crafting experience, and you have the ability to purchase the Dwarven Cannon. So if you want to purchase the Cannon, teleport back to Falador or Edgeville, and run back to that Dwarf in the, uh, in the middle house once again. To purchase a multi-cannon you are going to need uh, 750k. If you do not have that much you can save up for it later. It is cheaper, you could, there are two ways to buy the cannons. I will be showing the cheapest method. You could buy the parts separately but by right clicking and clicking the shop but that is more expensive. Once at the house, left click on the dwarf once again and talk to him. Ask if you can buy the cannon. Okay, I'll take the cannon, please. Congratulations, you have just bought your cannon. You can now equip the uh, cannonball mold to your... You can uh, add that to your tool belt and make cannonballs now. And you can go and use your cannon for whatever you want, as assuming you have enough space to place it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.